Hey guys, I'm CSPN001 here. Welcome to part, I believe, 57 of the Fallout 3 All Missions walkthrough with commentary. For some reason, the camera seems a little bit off in this part. Hey. Uh, it should be the only video like this. I just sort of put it up in a rush because it's the only time I might get to film for a little while. Yes, I'm way ahead in filming anyway, but I, I still need something to do because I've had a pretty stressful last couple of days and I need to film some to relax a bit. Okay, we got enemies coming up. Uh... Last time we decided to save Garza by wasting five of our freaking hard earned stim packs. You get to. <coughs> Man, that was unintentional. You guys get to wait here! I know exactly where these Enclave are. They are right above us. You're in for a nasty surprise if you don't know what to expect. Or you just miss like I do. <laughs> of course. Alright, buddy. Missile to the body. Jeez, that's gotta freaking hurt. Uh, let's throw some frags up there. I mean, I got so many plasmas that I just probably waste off my frags a little bit. Oh, crap! That grenade bounced off of the... Like, I think the shockwave light threw that grenade back down here for some reason. Wow, I got to watch your face fall off. Goodbye. Oh no, sound glitch. Crap, I was kind of worried about this happening. God, I'm glad I am only recording one video today. I bought helmet. Not, I don't think it's a unique item. Yeah, you got to be careful. I've been meaning to mention that, is that I've had a lot of issues with sound issues on my, uh, on this game before. So, I do warn you, this may happen sometimes. It usually happens more commonly later. It'll fix in a few moments, but I'm kind of annoyed that it had to happen right now. There it goes. It's back. It might do it again by the end of the video. You never really know, so I apologize for this and... It hasn't happened yet in the project, which I'm very, very pleased about that it has not happened before now. I mean, I'm very happy with that result. Whoa! What did that ghoul kill? Hey, ghoulies! You killed the Enclave! Good job! Now I get to, like, three-hit kill you! Yay! Need to slaughter your kind anymore, seriously. I don't see why so many Enclave officers carry around wine. There's just something I don't know. Let's see what drugs we got in here. We got some jet, some bottle caps, which I do not think are drugs, but are just as good. Ah, uh, it looks like about everything here. Alright, let's keep going. Dead. Dead. That's how to take down a ghoul, guys. Ooh, there's a quantum. It's very shiny, and very valuable. And I cannot leave it behind, even though I want to leave my the rest of these people behind, just because I can pick that up through the video a little faster. I don't know why they carry all those pass cards and stuff. I don't really need the alcohol, but I need the uh, quantum, definitely. Is there a pitching machine around here or something? So I'm standing on a baseball bat. Usually the only time I ever see those is if there's a pitching uh, machine trap around there somewhere. Okay, I do not want to risk getting stuck on the ceiling, so we're not, we will not do that. Dang it! I don't have a... What is my lockpick skill? My intelligence is at 7. 
60. Yeah, I don't think I can get a 15 point boost, unfortunately. Kinda like to know what's in there, but I think it's just some more common items or something. And some Brotherhood of Steel, yay! Friendlies, friendlies on our six, which means friendlies behind us, for those of you who don't know. I understand that probably not everyone does. Oh, you guys are awesome. Brother of Steel, you guys are great. Ah, uh, that's pretty much everything there. They're fleeing. But we're through. That's what matters. What is it? I thought she was fleeing for a moment. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, and we emerge back in the Capital Wasteland. Very, very nice. Uh, we're halfway to level 18. We're going to get done with a decent amount of the uh, of the main game by the time we can access Point Lookout. It's going to be so annoying. I think I'm going to annoy you guys with this, but the fact that I'm pretty much going to complete everything except for like the last minute of the American Dream and take it back after. I'm going to do those after we complete uh, Point Lookout and the pit. So you guys are going to have to wait for quite a while. You hurry up, seriously, I don't want to wait for you. I am Dr. Madison Lee. I have people with me in need of shelter. You must allow us access at once. I'm sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized blankets allowed inside the system. You'll have to leave now. Linus! I know you're in there! I know you can hear me! You open this goddamn door right now! <laughs> Well, I guess attitude does get you somewhere these days. Anyway, we can now permanently access the Citadel. Very nice. This is the Brotherhood of Steel's main fortress, as, as if you can already tell. But that's what it is. It's the Brotherhood of Steel's main fortress. Plenty of Brotherhood. Uh, I would love to see a video response of someone coming in here alone, killing every single Brotherhood of Steel soldier. I would love to see a video response. I would suggest doing it after Broken Steel, just so that you can, uh, uh, so that, like, I guess Lions can be killed afterward, because she can't be killed before then, I don't think. Nice to see you here. What can I do for you? Don't talk down to me, Lions. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been overrun. Yes, I've heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give us? I love how he has almost the, the exact Ultimate. same voice as Colonel Lotto. Project Purity. James is dead. There may be more. I don't know. You have to do something. Then it's as we feared. Madison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. No, no, no. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless. We can make it work. It's time to walk That's away. what we're gonna have to do. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Is that so? Does the Unclave know this? No, I don't think. I don't know. No, they I, don't. I just don't know. What's Believe me, they anymore. don't. All right, Madison, it'll be okay. Now, this is James's son, I presume? I can see the resemblance. Yeah, yes. I'm wearing full body armor. You can really see the resemblance. Something to locate equipment. Please help him. Very well, we'll sort this all out. Yeah, you can really see the resemblance when I'm wearing full body power armor. Audio glitches. So annoying. And her face looks glitched as well. Okay. You have my condolences. Your father was a good man. Ah, uh, what do you know about the Enclave? More than anyone else, I dare say. Certainly enough to know they're the greatest threat the Capital Wasteland has ever faced. The Brother of Steel encountered the Enclave before, you see, over 30 years ago, back in California. I believe that's a reference to the second game, because I believe they can help you in that game. Then they were led by a President Richardson. Then Richardson was killed on the oil rig with the rest of the Enclave during the second game. It matters not now. As before, they 
They remain to the government. Uh, if you talk to him and you do not yet have power armor training, he will actually give you power, or he can point you to someone that will give you power armor training. So then you can get it at this point. However, it's the uh, only other point in the game that you can actually get it besides, obviously, what I showed you guys. There's a shooting range here, which is kind of cool. But, uh, unfortunately, there isn't really... There's only two targets, so... There's really not much a point of it. Yeah, two whole targets. And they never reset either, so we've used up the entire shooting range for the rest of the game. Uh, okay, so we can work on this. Ah. Uh, hmm. You guys know what? I'm gonna break the sequence here. Actually, I don't know if I want to get a point lookout yet or not. So I feel like I can go on and get it done in about 20, 25 videos. I'm not sure if I want to do that first or if I want to go on and try to complete most of the storyline first. Ah, screw it. I'm going to I'm going to point lookout. Besides, by going there a little bit earlier, by going there, you know, between level 17 and 18, I ought to be able to uh to not have to fight as many reavers when I get out there. And I think I'm well equipped enough. Like I have over 200 stim packs and I have a lot of other weapons and ammunition. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Trouble on the home front. It actually is going to work this time. Okay, screw that. Uh, I actually almost forgot about that, guys. Uh, as I said in an earlier video, in my last playthrough, for whatever reason, I could not get into, uh, into Vault 101. This is like the emergency limited. signal never Stress came up for me from for some reason. Vault tech. Vault 101. Message begins. I don't know why it happened, but I could just never get in. Like, I never got the radio message for some reason. So, uh, since we can do that, though, so that I don't, like, forget to do it or something, we are definitely going to do that first. Definitely complete this first. It's going to take another good video or two to complete, though, just because it's kind of hard to navigate Vault 101, as you guys know. So Mata's trying to get us to come back and help. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. Okay, why should I help you? You refuse to even come into the wasteland with me, and your dad tried to kill me. So why should I help you? I don't see why I should. I do not. Oh, right. It's because I'm doing 100% walkthrough for you guys on YouTube. The door Thank them. Not me. And if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is an auto on the home front. Active. So for this quest, I'm gonna go on and say now that you can actually uh. I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Shut up. That you can actually side with either the overseer or with the uh, or with the motto, or you can even make the vault have to evacuate with Butch. But uh, I think this is actually a pretty good place to stop. So next time we will head back to Vault 101, and yes, that is actually a my practice slash. File for a school project. Yeah, I'll get more into that some other time. But I'm actually doing a school project related to this. It's that awesome. So, I will see you guys next time to do Trouble on the Home Front.